For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have this building slab and they want you to find F1 and F2 so that the resultant force acts to a point 12 and 10 so 12 in the X and 10 in the Y so you know that the assuming clockwise is positive the sum of the moments in the X is equal to FR times Y so M of X is equal to FR times 10 I'm going to call this equation 1. Now, same thing goes for m of y. m of y is equal to fr times x. So, assuming counterclockwise is positive, m of y is equal to fr times 12. Let's call this equation 2. So, f of r is equal to f of 1 plus f of 2 plus 12 plus 6. It's basically the addition of these four forces. So, f of r is equal to f1 plus f2 plus 18. Let's call this equation 3. So, Some of the moments in the x are equal to f of 2 times 20 plus 6 times 20 plus 12 times 8. So this is these are the moments on the x. And this is equal to, according to equation 1 and equation 3, this is equal to 10 times f of r and f of r is given right here at 3 which comes out to be f of 1 plus f of 2 plus 18 so when you clean all this up by adding these together you know with this 18 multiplied by this 10 adding the f1s with the f2s you get that this is equal to 36 is equal to 10 f1 minus 10 f2 And I'm going to call this equation 4. Now, some of the moments in the y are equal to f1 times 22 plus 12 times 6 plus 6 times 26 and is equal to moments in the y are equal to fr times 12. So I'll be 12 times fr, which according to equation 3 is f1 plus f2 plus 18 and again just like we did before you can add this together multiply the 12 by the 18 and by the f1 and by the f2 add the f1s the f2s and the cosinus together you clean up this equation and you get this is equal to 12 is equal to minus 10 f1 plus 12 f2 and we're going to call this equation 5 so I'm just going to rewrite equation 4 right here below equation 5. This is 36 is equal to 10F1 minus 10F2. And I'm just going to add these two together. And when you add them together, the F1s cancel out. And you get that 48 is equal to 2F2. And when you solve for F2, 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24 kilonewtons. And this 24 kilonewtons, you can plug it into any equation you want. I will plug it into equation 5 since it's the closest one to here. And you solve for F1 and you get that F1 is equal to 27.6 kilonewtons. Final answer for F1, final answer for F2. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.